Let's go to the Woken round three. Uh, we're on the draw with a really mediocre hand. We'd like the Sphinx to be in our deck in case we draw a Tinker. We just have a lot of mana. I think I'm going to keep, but this is like the worst hand I would probably keep. Um, we can still discard Sphinx to Doretti and then reanimate it. And Mizzy Mortars is good against Mana Dorks, who knew? Um, I might just try and at, like get mana as fast as I can to overload Mortars, especially if they're banned. Um, they'll just have a lot of creatures that I want to kill. Oh jeez, this could get bad. Time Walk. Rafelos! Okay, well I have to kill him. It's quite the start from our opponent. And we drew a land. Perfect. Yeah. There's no way I can let Rafelos survive, especially with them having two forests. Their deck looks awesome, though. Um, I'm trying to think. Caracas? What the heck? That's so good against our Eldrazi. I guess not Ulamog, because we can uh, kill or exile it with Ulamog's ability. Yep. Damage. Non land. It is technically a non land. Wait, no, that is a land. But it's of the lands to draw, one of the better ones. I guess Strip Mine, Wasteland. Would have been better. I don't really want to take damage, but this helps me cast Karn faster, which probably isn't even enough at this point. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this was a bad keep, I think. I couldn't have waited for Tamizium Mortars, because it would have been this, right? One, two, three, four. It would have been this turn, which is still really slow. And they would have cast Prime Time last turn. Their mana base looks great. Okay, Fire and Ice gives us a chance, maybe we can ice down the Primeval Titan. Sure. I'll do it in the beginning of combat. And then if we ice the Primeval Titan, find a way to kill it, and then we can like Chandra minus kill these guys, there's a there's a possibility. More signets. This has pro green as well, so if we can get this out into play. I don't see how we do that, because they're just going to kill Doretti if we cast him. I also don't like them keeping back Elvish Mystic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. You got like Terracidon, Hornet Queen. Slime time. Okay, okay. Shot in port. I'm trying to think how we come out of this. We're both drawing something really good next turn. Maybe we can get a little bit more information out of our opponent's deck. But yeah, their draw was great and ours was just not at all. Probably should have mulliganed for a better hand. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We go to 2 and we. <laughs> If they attack with Elvish Mystic, we can't even tap our Ancient Tomb. Chandra minus 4 is the closest we can get, but our Evil Titan takes that away from us. Sure. We're gonna draw Mana Flare, aren't we? Nope. Okay. Don't keep a 4-lander. 5-lander? I don't even know. Uh, I don't think Mana Flare is good in this matchup. Chandra Pyromaster is good. She can ping all the little elf guys. And that might just be the only switch we have. Sorcerer Spyglass. Can get rid of Caracas. Trying to think if there's anything else better. Siege Gang can maybe kill some. I think just having the artifacts pretty relevant. So I'm gonna keep that in. Okay, better hand, better start.
Sure. Sounds good. We can play a turn three Chandra Power Master and hopefully kill one of their like mana dorks. That they that, yeah they're gonna play mana dork on turn two, and then we're gonna kill it with our Chandra on turn three, and it's not gonna be Rothelos. That's that's my hope. Please don't be a Rothelos. No, 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 don't do it. No, no. Okay. Oh, wait, here's one toughness. Never mind. Forget everything I said. This is perfect. For some reason, I thought it was a 2 2. Alright, well, this can't get much better now. Get out of here. Another island off the top, and we're going to have a turn 4 Frost Titan. Mana Vault? What? Ooh, no land. I think I'm going to thirst for knowledge here instead of ponder. Wait. Hold up. Tap that one. Um... So I can discard the Signet? Yeah, I think that's okay. Then we can still go land, ponder, and set up for maybe an Ancient Tomb. Ooh, Fire Nice is going to be so brutal against Rashad and Port. And I played a land this turn, I did not. So I want to draw Rashad and Port. So... Yeah, we're going to ice into that. on top. Shuffle, no. I did play land? Okay, I guess I did. Um, ping you for one. So yeah, we're drawing fire ice and I can Chandra zero play an island maybe. Nissa. Okay. I can frost tighten that down. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can Karn maybe. Good old Frosty. Uh, I need another blue. God, the stupid tapping of the Signet keeps messing me up. Okay, tap. Yeah, I don't know why it's being glitchy. Frosty. Oh, I need it all anyway. Um, tapping Tropical Island, then they can't even attack with the land that they get with Nyssa. Mana Vault dealing them damage. Karn's coming out next turn. I think I'm just going to Karn exile their forest or something. Sure. Okay, that was... <laughs> Pretty easy, game three, we're on the draw, and we're running it back. <laughs> These past few games have been real fast. Minus me tapping wrong on my signets. Okay, we need a good game three, one that's not just a blowout. On one side or the other. Ooh, sure. Wasteland seems good against them. And they mulligan, sure, sure. If we really need to, we can Seething Song out a turn 3 Chandra. No plays. No! 
Oh, sure. Okay, we can spyglass the skull clamp. I think I'm gonna wasteland the drop. <laughs> Maybe we can set him back enough on mana. Yeah, turn two we can spyglass naming skull clamp. As long as they don't play a creature and equip. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we're doing good. We're shot in port. I think it's more important to play Spyglass here. Because I can always sacrifice it to Doretti. Wow. Lotus Cobra, Scavenging Ooze, Mystic Snake, Elish Norn. How are they doing anything with this hand? Um, so they had Nissa World Waker. I guess I just named that. Mm, Skull Clamp is better. Skull clamp. That way they don't just like draw a random creature and instantly play it. Um I honestly think I'm in good enough a position where I can save Seething Song to do something even more busted. So I can tap their land. And here I'm just going to jam Duretti. Playing a... Let's see, maybe I can discard Seething Song to Duretti and just you know, go for more permanent sources of mana. Which, in that case, I might as well discard Mountain. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, should not have discarded Mountain because I can't play Chandra now. That was a mistake. Doesn't matter so much because we can do this and it's going to be pretty brutal. Whenever an artifact is put in the graveyard. And I'm just going to rush out in port instead of ponder. Dude, I'm just drawing non stop lands over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so we ponder first. Thirst for knowledge seems okay. Hmm, but I'm not drawing artifacts, so I think I'm just shuffling. I want to find artifacts for Doretti. And I'm going to discard this island. I really should not have discarded that mountain. There we go. So they can have two mana. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I think it's better just to Rashad and Port on their upkeep still. Then I can just Karn away a land. And I'm gonna tap Island so they can't like spell Pierce Karn or something. Okay, so they can play Lotus Cobra, which is just going to get shot red. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do it off ancient too. Already is gonna discard this Forge Master and Ulamog, honestly. So I can Rashad in port, <laughs> Tapping Island. So that's gone, that's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, three and oh. Yeah, there was uh, at least one misplay that game, definitely more. Um, I do have a tendency when I'm like winning by so much to kind of play a bit sloppy, so that's something I need to work on. But I mean, this deck did really well in that game. Um, for those of you who are saying uh, I should play channel, uh, just the capabilities of this mana base is why I value better mana. Because Rashad and Port, Ancient Tomb, Strip Mine Wasteland, if you can get them working in like together, you can really lock your opponent out of mana for a long time. And I don't know. I, I like doing that, and it feels it seems pretty powerful, but um, yeah, so that's that deck, 3-0, and I'll see you guys for the fourth draft pretty soon.